Enjoy it. Don't make me spend a lot of time out there. You won't be able to enjoy Food Truck Tuesdays at the Nicholas Conservatory today. As mm. Laura Gibbs Green from the Rockford Park District says, we're not doing that today, are Too we? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing that today. As you can see, I'm joined by a, a fa my favorite that? five year old behind me as we're making it, making it through one more day of being Last at home. Last day of summer vacation, by. exactly. Yes. <laughs> see, we're like, let him on. He's, he's got his time to shine before school goes back. Right. He wanted to be on so bad. So you may see something here and there. So my apologies. That's, yeah, Remember I, life during COVID? I was, yes, like, exactly. I was like, we love it. I'm yeah. sure our viewers hi, do too. Hi, Leo. Say hi, Leo. All right, you've made your moment now. <laughs> All right, Leo disconnected. Go there you go. There um, we go. No food, no food truck Tuesdays today. Want to no, confirm that? No, we've been monitoring conditions like everybody else, and we did make the decision last night. Uh, it's in the best interest of everybody to not be out tonight uh, in the heat with food truck Tuesday. So that mm -hmm. has been canceled. A lot of our programs are being modified um, as well. We don't have any pools that are open right now at this point either, but we do have those spray pads that are still at all of our parks. So if you do need a sprinkler or just need to cool off for a second, those are push buttons. So you can just go and push them and just get a little bit of uh, water sprinkler action at a lot of our variety of parks. So that's the way to cool mm -hmm. off today. That's the one. Yeah. No, 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 so far, no cancellation of any leagues or anything you might have going on through the park district at this point, right? Right. Yeah. So far, um, I'm sorry, you kind of broke up there. So no, no, our, a lot of our programs are, we're just monitoring tonight. We've canceled some things as of last night. So we'll keep an eye on things. Okay. All right. Uh, you're asking people to take the Rockford Park District survey that is available through your website. Uh, this is a, uh, is this the similar survey to what people took, what, five years ago now? Yeah, we've done this uh, five years ago, and this really um, was everything. And we asked them in 2018 some of the similar questions so we can kind of have a benchmark for where we were and where we are now. Uh, everything that you put in this survey, we really do take to heart um, and have implemented. You know, you told us and we listened, and a lot of the things that you told us uh you know, 2018, we implemented through 2019 and 2023. So you'll see some similar questions. A lot of this is just to reiterate, are we continuing to be on the right track of where you want us to be? Um, and so that way that this is kind of a, something that helps guide us. This is going to direct us for our priority results that the board sets for the, us. And it also is going to dictate what we do for um, anything for our strategic plan as well. So all of that kind of goes together. And this feedback is really critical in telling us um, where to go from here and are, are we on the right track. I think that's fantastic. That's it. That's the whole survey. You just, as you that were is, talking really about quick, it. Yeah. Yeah, keep it that in mind, you know. We it, always think about, you know, mom like me who's got a little one running around or things <laughs> like that maybe can give us a few minutes of their time and, and tell us what's going on. We've also um, engaged with youth as well through this process. So we've already met with a lot of the youth mm -hmm. at our parks that were in our programs because they're the next generation and they're the ones that are going to take this park district to the next level too. So we want to make sure that we're putting things in place, getting ideas, hearing things that are cool and trending um, that our youth and teens are going to want to be able to see as they grow up through the Rockford Park District as well. So we've done a really good job over these last couple of years of trying to reduce our footprint, increase investment in priority areas um, and parks. A lot of our playgrounds, a lot of uh, parks and neighborhood parks, things like that, and especially our next generation. So Tell us what you think. These are available um, at our customer service locations. We also have the survey available in English and um, sorry, Spanish and Arabic as well at our customer service locations. Easy to do online. And then if you want to, you could also just give us that feedback in person as well. And this mm -hmm. time to submit the survey is uh, about a week or so, right? Yeah, we're going to keep this open probably through the end of the month. We may extend it out a little bit through the top of September. We know schedules are pretty busy right now with back to school. So it might not be as top of mind, but we've had this going for the last couple of weeks. And we're really going to want to leave this open so we can make sure that we are hearing. Um, the last time we did this, we made sure that we heard from every single zip code in, in our area uh, that we serve. So we're really going to try to make sure that that's the same case this time around. It's the final push. Now, Fill out your survey. Now you mentioned that you took a, that you take all the the results to heart. And what were some of the things that uh, you think the park district has done well responding to the survey of what five six years yeah, ago? Twenty eighteen. Yeah, a lot of uh, what was sold, said was you know reduce your footprint, get rid of some things that maybe aren't necessary. So you know we sold the former administration building. Uh, we sold the Forest City Queen. You know, we sold Elliott Golf Course was a big one recently, too. So reducing our footprint down frees up some resources. So, you know, with the sale of Elliott, 
we're able to take that funding and now invest in other golf courses. So Ingersoll Golf Course is going to be getting um, some improvements and uh, irrigation system because of that sale. So that's one of the areas that we've really been able to do. And a lot of the other thing that we heard, number one, was invest in neighborhood parks. Um, and we have been doing a lot of investing in neighborhood parks, most recently uh, unveiling a new playground at Hate Park, uh, thanks to some feedback that we heard from the kids. So and neighborhood parks are just everything. Um, they unify us. They bring Mo us together. Modernizing course, the playground modernizing, equipment. Modernizing, getting equipment, new equipment, safer, you know, better. brings new life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have, you, have you seen, are those parks being used to the extent that you'd like them to be? Or have you said, oh, maybe we, maybe we get, uh, maybe they're not, maybe we got some bad information from this survey and it hasn't worked out like you had hoped. You know, that's all part of it is gauging the usage of these parks. So we do keep an eye on that. Um, and, and neighborhoods are evolving, too. So that's also something we're looking at the demographics of, uh, around each one of these neighborhood parks, too, to see as those uh, data points change, um, we have to change with that as well. So families are moving into certain neighborhoods, maybe that still might even be missing a park as well. And so we're also addressing that through this uh, survey, too. Okay. Good opportunity to kind of readjust and reset. That's what the purpose of this survey is for. So things like that. Am I wrong in that thinking or is that correct? 100%. Yep. Just uh, are we on the right track? Reestablish our priorities. We think we're going to probably hear that we should be continuing to invest in the areas that we're investing in. Um, so we just need to reiterate that we're on the right track. All right. Take that survey.